Hello, Percival. Oh, we got two customers. One's going to go for the pies. Are you going to buy that? Yes, you are. All right, Percival, go replace it. I need two pounds, really? All right, you're all going to buy pies, so I need to get this upstairs quickly. No, 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 no. Don't you buy that one too. I just put that one out. Okay, more pies are up there. Let's go get flour. Hello, miss. How can I help you? Just getting some clothes ready. Let me just put this in your throat. You'll be fine. All right, she's got a body to sort out down there. He's got clothes to make. I really need new pies. Oh, she's coming straight in. Hello, miss. What would it be? A red or another green dress though? Either way, we can fix it. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of murder in this game. I will be up there in a minute with the pies. Please do not get angry. I'm trying my best. I'm still learning. Let's take this out there. Get some clothes in. There needs to be a dance floor. Why? So you can murder <laughs> your terrible player. All right. Let's get straight down there and cook again because it seems like Ooh, got a lot going on. I literally bought all our pies out within seconds. That's man. People must have a thing for human pies or something. I guess I don't know. Maybe it is the toes. <laughs> Maybe it is the toes. Is he coming in for measurements? He's coming in for measurements. Hello, sir. Yep, I think I've got your size right here. Thank you. I don't know how you're going to keep up with all this going <laughs> soon. Uh, talking about eating humans just reminds me of Adventure Time episode where the Raidicons talk about eating them. I think you maybe remember that one actually. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Oh no, I was gonna make. Nice, we had a good day, and we earned twenty six pounds. Like, how much money do you reckon I'm actually spending? So obviously he gets clothes off them, he repairs them, so he probably doesn't spend that much. She's only using flour. Doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We got another 30 pound though. What can we make the show? Do we do we get more meat or we don't need more ovens yet? What do we find ourselves doing? Would you, well, since we get more more clothes, we'll get more meat as well. And then we'll leave it at that for now, and then we'll see what we need to work on afterwards. Uh, I've got one up there, so I might as well get ready to take this. I might as well grind all these bodies. How many is here? I think only two, right? A pie or a meatball? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> listen to it though. It sounds so vile. 
just get that crunch in his like, oh god. Has she got all their wedding photo down here? Clean, this from time to time. clean the machine. You want to clean the entire floor. The floor's fucking drenched with blood. <laughs> I imagine we're going to need more displays because we can get like stuff ready for the day and it would probably take some pressure off us. What do you guys think of this game actually? Out of curiosity, I know it's a bit different to what we normally play, but do you, do you guys in, are you enjoying it or? Yeah, I thought I'd try different games. I'm glad that you're enjoying it because I thought I'd try different games that I don't normally play. You guys see me play a lot of, well, I guess like action-y type games. You know, it's uh, like, you know, you never really get to see me play chill things like this. I thought I'd, you know, try something out, treat you a little bit. Hello, sir. Don't mind if I just put these in your neck. It's a great size. No one's bought that piece of clothing yet. Percival, are you sure you're stitching these things right? Because there's blood everywhere. yes, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Percival. What would they do without your fucking input? There's blood everywhere. It's like, really? Well, what else can you tell me, buddy? Can you... As fast as I can. As fast as you can. Well, why, why are you fast as you can? Like, what, what's the rush? We've got plenty of pies. I'm gonna make some more pies. Oh, they're about to buy clothes up there, so just get that. And then take that over. You put this in the oven, because we're about to run out of pies. Okay, we're fine. Get some clothes ready. I want to know if they get discovered. Do you think they get discovered, guys? Eyes are ready. We upstairs in a minute, miss. Don't mind the smell of blood. It's quite normal. You coming in for a measurement, miss? Of course you are. There you go. Just head down there. Get some more flour. Get this lady's measurements for her. I've already got, I'm already in the double ditches, guys. What am I doing? What am I doing to myself? I'm already in the double digits of murder. I guess I am a serial killer after all. Alley oop! Nice! 17 customers today, guys. Oh, we got mail. And not a single bad one, but I only got 25 profit i'm guessing like 25 pound like back in that age is a lot of money though mail mail to dear Rhodes, elliot carson is your first target he is a young and greatly committed businessman it is impossible not to be thrilled by the stories of his travels he wanders around the city in his free time talking to everyone even those filth covered country louts Sorry, I had sirens going past. He has no objection to frequenting even the most infamous establishments, as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. Okay. Excuse me. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway. All of this will work <laughs> work to our advantage, and in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovel. Sorry, no offense. I am sure you will have plenty of time to spruce the place up. Mr. Carson is a very charismatic, is that right? I'm thinking I was in there, right? Person, and an eloquent speaker. So what, when you say eloquent, is that very like, I have had the pleasure of having him as my guest at some of my famous parties. Is it like that, maybe? He's a good-looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnetic spheres. That simply drive me crazy. And just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him and preserve the body. 
I look forward to this immensely. Like, but I felt like I was doing a lot more for her than I was for him, so I would say probably food display. So we go with flute. Fl flute. Yeah, this is a flute display now. It's not. It's 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 a flute display. <clears throat> so that means we can take these up, and then that should fill one of them, right? Okay. So then e each so each pie is three different racks as well. So that's a no no good thing to do. And we still need to know recipes. I oh, wonder how you learn more recipes. I guess it's like the ingredients on the menu that we have to unlock. Baking time. Baking time. That's cooking, so we're pretty much ready to go. Open the shops. I love how we both open at the same time. Alright, that pie is... Oh, shit. I didn't think of this, did I? Should have really prepped the bodies. Percival didn't have any customers. Oh, he's got a customer. Let's get her doing this first. Oh, oh, oh! Murder victim! Murder victim! Measurements! Oh, he's just took some clothes. We need to... She needs to grab this pie. And then take it up. He needs to start this. And then work on that. She needs to then go back down. Oh. Flower there. Body in there. Me. I. This is gonna be a lot of murder. We're only an hour and a half into the street. As fast as I can. I love how the bodies just drop down. <laughs> Land out of nowhere, he was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, so easily amused. See, I'm already... See, he doesn't get that many customers. But, like, she gets loads. So how many of these people have families, you reckon? Just uh, just for science. Like, how many of these people have families? <laughs> I know all of them, but no one... How many have I killed so far? They've all gone for measurements in the shop and none of them have come back. <laughs> so, that's not suspicious at all. Hey, we're doing quite well. Whoever said murder was bad for business was very wrong. I don't know what they were thinking. Hello, sir. Uh, grab that, because they're about to take that one. Oh, look at that, sir. Thank you for so taking my clothes. I'm going to put some more back on. And then I'm gonna make some more as well, cause I'm a I'm a very busy my dude, busy my dude. Let's casually strip down this one. Alley oop. Oh, <gasps> here's the guy.
Wait, did I not clean up? I thought I just murdered someone. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Percival. I am Elliot Carson. Your shop is making the news in this city. People say that it's quite in <laughs> Sorry. it's impossible to find such high quality clothes elsewhere. Some acquaintances of mine <laughs> acquaintances <laughs> sorry, can't always all some acquaintances of mine came by recently. To tell me that I should pay you a visit. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes on the display look quite ex ex exquisite, exquisite. But I suggest you clean this place a little. Thank you. By the way, I'm going to commission a suit before I depart for my next trip. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It would be my pleasure to tailor something for you. What kind of suit are you after? Is it for you or the boy? I will need to make... I need to take measurements first. For me, of course. I need a very durable suit for hunting. He's just my assistant. He may pretend as if he's not here. And if he bothers you, you can kick him out, or I can kick him out, you know, one of the above. I'm just making things up as I go along now, because I'm quite, you know, impressed that I'm actually taller than you. Am I right, boy? Oh, I'm a brick wall, mister. Just the way I like it. Anyway, I'm just passing through to take a look at your humble shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't worry about it, Helga. It's fine. I'm leaving now, so I have plans for today, Mr. Percival. But I will return again in the near future, if you don't mind. Of course not. Feel free to come back whenever you like. <laughs> Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, you loafer. We're leaving. <laughs> Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. <laughs> goodbye. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Emotional damage! <laughs> Probably. He must be our target. The said directly is let us in joking. <laughs> Next time I'll have to do, I'll have some work to do. There we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. I just I just wanted to play. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. The fuck is she doing? She's never started cooking. She's been holding them for ages. You guys can't say that wasn't fun. I just don't know what voice to do for her. Guys, come on, it wasn't that bad. You're gonna look back at that. You know what? I am down. Emotional damage. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. <laughs> oh, where is she? She's up here. Okay, so I think we do need more clothes racks. Um,. So we're actually going to upgrade and get um, a display and a mannequin. There we go. Business time. 
this is a, this, do you know for a game that's like so much more slowed down than anything that we'd normally play it's it's actually really fun <laughs> like i don't know it sounds weird but it, it's quite fun oh my lady he's coming in for measurements they're all buying pies stop buying pies Hello, you look great. Don't mind the noises back here, sir. I'm installing some of my favorite things known as the warm clothing. Yes, I don't know where I was going with that. Help. I'd be a terrible murderer. Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? <laughs> I'm not doing that. The shop still seems to be closed. You've got a backlog of corpses, pal. Yeah, you should probably sort them out. Good morning. Not at all, Lady Ellis. Ellis, Ellis win? That would... <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Just got a lot on my mind. Please do come in. It, it wasn't that, was it? It was. It was. Well done. Were you in need of a new dress? <laughs> yes, I have an appointment. Please be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. In before I have a bad voice tomorrow. This this must be the place. That trap door. Wait, what the fuck does she know about my business? What does she know about my business? Those clothes. Oh my god. Everything Jack told me was true. Wait, Jack is in J, J guy is in J from the Luz? Should I tell him everything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Oh fuck. Oh fuck out Percival's like lightning. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um I was thinking something delicate. Maybe light blue tones you're already wearing a light blue dress though. i mean you can have many blue dresses blue's a good color it's a really good color is this dress for a special occasion if you don't mind by asking a funeral wait what why are we wearing blue to a funeral well then <laughs> yeah exactly percival if I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure. I'm glad that he was thinking the same thing, honestly. I'm so glad he was thinking the same thing. Not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. Okay. What do you mean? I'm dying. There's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. It's asking to die without suffering too much. But maybe... Who the fuck is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt first of all. <laughs> I have something to show you downstairs. I work in Hildred. <laughs> uh, please, Percival. You, you need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. Oh, sorry, Hildred. But listen, she just wears light colors and got quite attracted to the light colors. Just can't. And it's blue. The blue is really cool. You were just starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake, my dear. I'm so sorry. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, she shoulder show the barge you. Was she all right? You traumatized her somehow? I haven't touched her. <laughs> she said that she was dying of a disease. Or soul. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. 
in before bad voice tomorrow. I can, <laughs> I can really skip it. Anyone going past my house now to be like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new? Hmm. <laughs> What's new, guys? Because I actually don't know. Is it the flowers? No. Look up there. I put some flowers. Oh, it is the flowers. <laughs> nice. I they, you said typical bloke, and I fucking noticed. Kinda. I guessed what I noticed. Oh, I see. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. Do you like it? It's a good start. <laughs> But <laughs> you definitely need something more. Oh, here we go. He's one of he's one of those guys. He's one of those guys. Oh god. What what are we gonna do with Percival? It's like, oh it looks nice, but you need something more. It's like you should have just left with it's nice. <laughs> In this particular situation. <laughs> I hope, I hope he doesn't like now give her a compliment and then shoot her down. Cause that's mean. Did you seriously? It, oh no. Oh. Yes, this was really important. We'll make customers happier. Oh, he's not impressed. Fine. Go back to killing. Apparently that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Oh. No, I guess. No, I guess. Can we ever forgive Percival, guys? Can we ever forgive? Oh my god, that is a lot of bodies down there. We really need to tidy that up. We, we're, we're gonna get to that shit. Yeah. As fast as I can. As fast as I can. A pie or a meatball? I'm fine with a meatball, actually. You can do that. Wouldn't mind a pie, but I really would love some meatballs. All right, we're decorating. We're gonna, we, we want to increase their patience there because the food is flowing. And then once we've done that, you motherfucker, once we've done that, we'll do the sewing machine. We've got the oven speed. So we do the sewing machine and then we'll work on another bench. We'll get another workbench. All right, sound like a plan, guys. Good plan. Everyone fine with that plan? Excellent. Good to know. Got it all planned out, guys. Look at me. Professional murderer, chef, tailor. I'm everything. I sign all the skin check boxes. I don't need no shit. Do this. Put this out here. She's got beef. This is a master. Uh pick that up. Cook it. You're gonna go straight for the murder. Problem solved. Put that on. Get her sorted. Eyes are ready. Take them upstairs. Launch this body down. Oh my god, we're nearly approaching 20 murders. Masterpiece. We're doing good. We're doing good though. This is good stuff. A new committee model. That would be so fun. Down the hatch you go, miss. Eyes are ready. Oh, we're doing good. And it's nearly dinner. So the days aren't too long, which is kind of cool. So I don't feel as like stressed out. Oh, I can't cancel that. I wish I could because now I need to fill this up. Hello, sir. You have. Oh. Oh, no, Hildred! No, quick, you need to move a corpse. <laughs> there we go. You were right, guys. I am having corpse build up. Oh, I want to meet it! <laughs> Love the sound. Love the sound. Oh! Um, hello, child. Help me, please. 
Have you seen my parents? Oh, please don't tell me we've killed. Don't tell me we've killed the boy's parents. My mother, my mother. I can't find my mother. What's wrong, little one? Um, my mom left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat, but she never came back. Oh, fuck. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. These are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now, come on, get out of here. I need to open up my shop soon. But madam, please, I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? All right. <laughs> oh, no. No. No, are we going to feed him his parents? <laughs> I think you can have some leftovers. Why is that? It's please do Is that like parents to go? <laughs> hey guys, I've got a new business. I don't know if you guys should feel about it. Um, parents to go. Anyone, uh, <laughs> anyone up to make a business with me? <laughs> Thank you so much, Madam. You're an angel. Oh, you are so wrong, boy. Goodbye. And even today, I am sure of a place, sure of a place in heaven. You, you have a twisted mind, my friend. You are not going where you think you're going. Imagine that boy starts eating that pie and he sees his mum's face. I mean, I think that's what the idea is. At least she'll be always watching over. My dear colleagues, as I have already mentioned in my in a previous letter, I have been observing your steps for a long time. And to be honest, you intrigued me even before you intrigued me but even before arriving here in Hiffa Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there is no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in Merseyside. Merseyside, nice. I like the name of that. Where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way, and the local competition accused you of selling rat meat, damaging your business reputation. Your business's reputation. I remember seeing the news on all the local papers, and I knew it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation, and suddenly a fire. I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turned to rubble. Nothing less beside ashes and two unrecognizable, unrecognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this has happened, you already boarded your train. Brilliant. I must confess, I almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple priding themselves and offering the best meat pies in town opened a new shop in Southoak. Southoak? Southoak. Southoak, I'm guessing. Many of my friends have said you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady, a beautiful woman. It could have all have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places. And there would have been nothing odd about any of it. But something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop itself had closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now at Hiffa Blue Lake. The same story. A foreign couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that all of your customers who entered your shop also left. No, oh, not all of your customers who entered the shop also left. Got it. There, I got that. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high quality meat these days. This guy is having a proper conversation with us, and it is Jay at the end, so it must be the guy that uh, the woman came in talking about earlier. So that's quite interesting, to be honest with you. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait for me here. 
Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm doing it wrong, are I, guys? My bad. Don't you cry and run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. <laughs> right, Mr. Elliot. I'll wait right here for you. That's it, you clean your scissors, Percival. <clears throat> Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please take your place in front of the mirror. I like the people who don't waste and hate waste my time. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beast. I really need my best rifle. They can pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over a fireplace though. Over my fireplace though, sorry. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes, yes, I understand. I always use to hunt for a living. But I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps. Like flies in a spider web. And then stab them to death. I would have never guessed. I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is... <laughs> this is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such uh, for a long in this city. Fuck, silly me. I fucked up all that. <laughs> by the way, maybe you happen to know someone who goes by mo of the moniker Mr. J. Since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Of course I know some people whose names start with a J, but the list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you. Or who you don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. You're bothering me with this story. Might someone want, <laughs> might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, <laughs> good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you as annoying as hell. <laughs> oh, my face! How dare you hit me! Come back here, you chump! Oh, I'm gonna kill you, you prick! Oh, take this, and that, and that! There! Come <laughs> Fucking dickhead, they my scissors. <laughs> he was really getting on my nerves. <laughs> we shouldn't have come here. <laughs> this so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. No, now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. That gold one. This is the cold. Wait, what? I'm, I'm questioning before I even finish the set. This, how can that be the cold? It's, it's, it's the highest one in. Uh, logic. This is the coldest room in our house. In the house, you fucking dickhead. The flesh should be better preserved here. My voice is hurting now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. What are you doing here? Good morning, sir. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? <laughs> he told me to wait outside. But I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. Uh, there was a great smell coming from there. I was rather hungry. Then the good lady gave me a pie. <laughs> he just probably ate someone, mate. It's all right. It was really delicious. I don't have any money on me. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. 
Has he left the shop already? Yeah. Several minutes ago. <laughs> oh, really? Did he, did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he will come back to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back though. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop myself, guys. <laughs> He's probably really angry I disobeyed him. He bought me. I can't be, I can be replaced at any time. Well then. Find yourself another job. You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. I hope it's north facing. I, I think everyone's just gonna look through the uh, windows and see dead bodies. Uh, Hildred may need a little help in the pub.